Hi coaches, my name is Natalie Thomas. I'm one of the program directors at the YMCA and I'll be overseeing the recreational and micro volleyball for this spring 2020. Um, just wanted to touch on a few things, um, answer maybe some questions that I've been seeing a lot in emails um, on this video and get you all up and running with uh, practice. Uh, first and foremost, if you have any issues with your practice times, please feel free to call our office 402-434 9217. My number is exactly the same except 15 instead of 17 at the end there. Uh, a couple things we want to touch on are just kind of some of the goals and uh, outline the season and some rules and cover some coach expectations as well as fan expectations and kind of some of the things that we want to make sure that we're respectful of as we use the Lincoln Public School system uh, for our games and practices. Um, as of now, there's no COVID procedures that are in place. We'll hope to keep it that way, but certainly if anything changes, that will be communicated directly to coaches and parents through player space. Um, I wanna say thank you all for volunteering to coach. Some of you, um, especially who are late ads to the coaching, really appreciate you giving your time. Um, I know it means a lot to the other parents and to the, to the players that you're gonna coach. So um, definitely thank you. Um, I think if you're volunteering to coach, your goals are probably the same as ours. And, and four of our main character development pillars at the Y are honesty, caring, respect, and responsibility. So um, as long as we kind of keep those at the forefront as we're coaching and interacting with referees and parents and maybe players who are frustrated, um, I think keeping those things in mind will help us be really successful in our coaching and um, get players who want to come back and who request you as a coach again. We see a lot of that. So I know a lot of you out there are doing um, a lot of things right and helping kids develop um, the skills that sports uh, teaches us about life. Um, we talked about youth development. We also want to encourage um, everyone in our community to get out, get active. You all are a big part of that and getting the one hour practice for the rec teams and the game and then the micro kids getting them up and moving for 50 minutes a week. And uh, we also feel like it's great opportunity for social responsibility. So we appreciate you all being willing to give back and support um, those in your community and uh, some of you have teams that are more spread out so you're getting to touch other parts of the city of Lincoln that you might not ordinarily get to. Um, if you haven't already picked up your t-shirts, you may do that at 570 Fallbrook Boulevard. It's um, right above Toast, the restaurant. We're up in suite 210. Uh, we'll have a roster in there for you, as well as your t-shirts. Um, if you can't make it to pick it up and you want to send another parent or adult, that's perfectly fine. Or we can also arrange to have those um, to you all at the first game. Um, there's been some changes in rosters, so if you end up with an extra t-shirt because a player's been moved, we just ask that you bring that extra shirt uh, to the first game as well so we can find its home and make sure everybody has a t-shirt. Uh, we'll provide volleyballs for the micro games. Um, the recreational teams, I think many of you know you can come by our office and rent two volley light volleyballs. Uh, we'll ask for a, you to bring a check for a deposit and when you bring the, the volleyballs back, we'll give the check back and that'd be 25 each, so 50 total. Um, all of the nets and other equipment will be available at LPS schools for practices. Some of the schools are better about setting up the nets than others, so if you're one of the first to be in the gym, um, try and get there right on time just in case the equipment's out but not set up. Um, game days, you won't need to worry about that. And we do want to remind everyone, no jewelry, uh, no taped earrings, no earrings, nothing on the wrist, watches, that all needs to be removed. Um, so it's a good idea to practice that at practice. So at, at the game, it's not a huge shock. Um, and we do recommend um, knee pads for, for everyone. And in terms of what they wear, they'll have their t-shirt, but if they want to wear um, like looser fitting shorts, leggings, sweatpants, something they can move easily in, uh, we just ask that they be in something comfortable and um, of the athletic variety. Um, many of you have already contacted teams about practice. If you're late to getting a practice time, that's okay. We just ask that you communicate that out as quickly as possible. We get a lot of parents calling in and asking us, and we're happy to answer, but it's usually easier if it comes from you. Um, if you wish to meet with the parents and, or guardians separately, I think that's a great idea. Um, I'd be really clear in your communication about kind of your expectations for practice and games, and um, you know, if you want to organize snacks for after the games, that's great. 
I don't think you can over communicate with parents and um, lots of folks have many, many things going on. So I know parents are appreciative for, you know, communication weekly, reminders for practice and games. I know it seems like too much, but I, I promise it's not enough. Um, if you get an email from me about adding a player late, um, you are not obligated to say yes. It's to your comfort level, how many players you have, especially now that you have your roster. So I just will always check with you before I add somebody um, to make sure you're okay with it. Um, practice for the micro will be the same gym number and time of the game. So you get 25 minutes of practice followed by a 20, 25 minute game and we'll have all the equipment there. Um, and then the recreational teams, you all are limited to one practice per week. And if there's a date that the gym is unavailable on the Google sheet, just make sure that that week or a week before you call the office and we'll get you scheduled at another day or time if you have a gym availability that gets blocked off because of an event. Um, I've got all the Lincoln Public School information. We'll touch about that for games. Um, I think all but one grade level, you'll be at the same gym every week, just with rotating times. Um, and at LPS, we ask that you know you maintain their rules. So if you park somewhere where you're not supposed to park um, and you get towed, you know those rules apply. Obviously, no parking in handicapped spots without um, the proper uh, vehicle tag. Um, Smoke-free, tobacco-free, alcohol-free, I think goes without saying. Um, one thing is entering and exiting slowly. I've been at a lot of games over the winter and fall, and little ones are running around, so just be extra, extra careful as you're pulling in and out of parking lots. Um, I know it's easy to have the siblings or other young ones running around in the hallways, but we want to keep that to a minimum um, and kind of just keep them you know, within your eyesight. And we want to avoid outside um, food and drinks other than water bottles uh, for the kids playing. And we just ask you that you um, treat those schools with respect and we, we leave them better than we found them. Um, for coaching, our expectations are pretty simple. Um, the team's looking to you, the parents will look to you in terms of kind of what behavior is acceptable. And you know, we, we would ask that you be positive you know, in your coaching, and in your interactions with the referees, many of them are high school and college age kids or just folks in the community who love you know, the sports that we offer and just ask that you be um, really respectful of them and then the parents and the, the players will follow suit. A um, lot of positive reinforcement, um, redirection in coaching and a lot of encouragement is um, kind of the best route that we've seen. And we ask that you all give players as close to equal playing time as possible. I know it's, you can't be 100% perfect there. And give everybody the opportunity to play the position, all the positions or the positions they'd like to try. Um, any harassment or verbal criticism of the officials is um, not allowed. Uh, we have site supervisors on hand, so if there is an incident, um, we ask that you report that to them or you may call our youth sports office with concerns. Um, we ask that you know everybody, if you see anything that would constitute abusive kind of behavior or language, that that get reported immediately as well. And um, treating the kids on your team and the opposing teams, um, you know, as individuals, they all respond to different coaching and, and different instruction. And obviously, no profanity, inappropriate jokes, um, sharing anything too personal about life away from the volleyball court and any kind of harassment in the presence of a child or their parents um, would be considered to, to be you know, something that needs to be reported. Um, happens to go with the mannerisms as well, so throwing, filling around, stomping of your foot during the games. Um, we, we would ask that you not do that. Um, we'll give warnings for inappropriate behavior. Uh, we may ask those who are acting inappropriately to leave a game or ask them not to come back to the following week's games um, and other actions uh, may be enforced and um, taken if it's very severe and we feel as though it needs to be. Uh, this, this goes down to the fans as well. Um, we want them to just cheer for their team, encourage their team. It's okay to cheer for the other team too. Um, it's meant to be fun. Uh, we don't want any negative cheering um, towards the other team and let the coaches coach. Uh, we'll remind them of that to make sure they aren't getting conflicting coaching from you uh, and the parents. That, that can get really confusing. 
So fee and behavior policy, diversity policy are both online at our Lincoln, um, ymcalincoln.org website. Um, we ask that fans, you know, be really respectful. If there's anything that you would consider to be discriminatory language or behavior going on on the sidelines, um, we ask that you report that immediately as well. We don't tolerate that. We want to treat everyone uh, fairly and equally regardless of who they are, where they come from, those types of things. Uh, hopefully weather will not be an issue with an indoor sport, but certainly if it is, it will get communicated out to you and the parents via player space. And then we have our um, heads up concussion protocols, uh, links for the coaches, and we always just say when in doubt, sit it out. So hopefully that's not an issue as, um, either, but um, that's something none of us I did think want to mess around with. A um, Couple of the just real quick rules on micro volleyball. Um, everyone's playing six games. There's an odd number of micro teams. So if you have a double header, it was randomly assigned and um, as long as you've got six games, you're good. It, this wasn't a way around it, unfortunately. Um, they'll be playing on a much smaller court, 15 by 30, with a net height of approximately six feet. Um, biggest thing is coaches will be doing their own officiating. Um, if a parent's there and is willing to do it so you can help coach, we're more than fine with that. We do ask that you bring a whistle um, that tends to help with getting them moving on the serving so you can blow the whistle, motion for the serve, and we can begin play. Um, no score no score kept at this grade level. Uh, you'll switch sides about 12 minutes in to the game and we'll give you a one minute timeout. Um, want to just touch on at this grade level you can catch the ball on the serve or during play. We would ask that this, um, we constitute this as being the first contact and we ask that you get two. So once they catch, they have three seconds to underhand toss it to somebody who can pass it or set it um, and then it may go over the net on that second contact. Um, we ask that nobody be on the net. Um, a serve can't touch the net, but um, a pass over during play can. And we're pretty loose with kind of how we're judging hits at this level because we want them to develop their skills. So because the coaches are officiating, you all can kind of decide amongst yourselves what you think is the best course of action for how you officiate the games. Um, that should be most of it for micro. Um, our recreational, we've got obviously some more grade levels, so some more regulations, and if you've picked up your coach's packet, you should have that. Um, I think the biggest thing here is um, each game will consist of 25 points. Uh, on the first game, you should have more than enough time, so if, it, if it's tied at 24, you will need to win by two. Um, if you're coming to the end of a game as the 50 minutes are expiring, the game ends regardless. Uh, some of you are maybe have less players than others, just the way it works. You can play with five um, in case you're missing a few and with you know being out of town or other events conflicting. Um, sixth and eighth grade coaches have the option to rotate players differently than the second to fifth graders. So. Um, the second and fifth graders will uh, rotate into the back center position and rotate out after service rotation. And you're gonna sit in your um, rotation line off to the side. Sixth and eighth grade coaches can do that or they can request for substitutions. Um, the coaches will need to signal the official and they must acknowledge you before the subs come in. Um, you have to choose one or the other as a sixth or eighth grade coach. So however you choose, to uh, rotate players in for that game, you gotta stick with it. Uh, we do have some serving limits that are on there. Uh, second to fifth, three straight points while serving, an automatic side out will occur, and it's five straight points when serving on sixth to eighth grade. Um, biggest things here, we talked about uh, catching with the micro kids. So no catching allowed from third grade and up. Um, we do have some modifications on here for the second and third to sixth, and then seventh to eighth, we'll play with no modifications. Um, other than that, six, second to fifth, calls will be a little more liberally called um, for illegal hits, and sixth to eighth, it'll be called a bit tighter um, as they're older and getting to, you know, get ready to maybe play high school sports, so we wanna prepare them a little better. Um, other than that, that's about all I have. 
Uh, good luck this season. Thank you all for participating and feel free to email me, call the office um, if you have any questions or any issues arise and uh, we'll do our best to solve those. Thank you.